Welcome to Zero Style. I am your Sigma host, Zero, the cyberspace hero. Here to show you how to be a true EDC Chad. A Giga Chad. A Sigma EDC Lone Wolf. A true minimalist. All right, so everybody knows me that I am a maximalist in every sense of the word. I really like to customize my stuff and make it my own and use it the way that I want to use it, which is the way I think you should do EDC too, but that's just my opinion. Anyhow, I have got a no-nonsense carry for you this week. If you were going to be an EDC minimalist in my book, this is the kind of style that you would carry, and this is really how I've been carrying a lot lately. This is the ZF Cup. This is in the Ripstop Chartreuse Nylon Edition. I've got a customized zipper pull here. I've got a 3D printed Plague Pandemic and a glow-in-the-dark JRW gear PVC bead. All of this is pretty dark and dingy looking compared to how it was originally because I legit wear black all of the time and carry this in my pocket. So you get the remnants of the textiles on your pouch. It happens with the patches too, it's just a fact of life. You gotta clean your stuff if you care about it. And I'm not cleaning this pouch. For the patches this week, we're going simple. Just my own original Zero Pouch Bomb Vandal Eye. And this new one right here. This beauty is called Doku. That means alone. That is what the kanji reads down here on the bottom. This is by the Hiro Mitsu Creative Collective and was sent to me to show you. He has another sweet one that just came out. I think this one's called Golden Future. That's what it actually says here on the patch. Very cool, a little graffiti cityscape going on there. I'll rip this one out of the book and show you. These are thick and backed with Velcro hook, just like normal. But the other side, the actual design is printed, as opposed to using different kinds of PVC in the plastic dies on them. This is just one nice flat image that's been printed on here. Very cool, you don't see a lot of these in the morale patch scene, just a little different. Back in the book. And back to the pouch dump. So. Let's take a peek at how I've got this thing set up here on the inside. Very simple, very minimalist, very utilitarian. A lot of the time, I honestly just unzipper the front part, pull out the item that I want, and use it. In this case, we've got the lightweight, super bright, nightcore, tiki, glow-in-the-dark edition with the glow-in-the-dark OEG one-eyed ghost bead. This is a very nice little, I think it's 200 lumen flashlight. You can see this dude is just about the same size as a AAA battery very similar footprint, USB rechargeable, single button here on the front, give it a hold and it goes directly into turbo, double tap it and it goes into moonlight mode, it's lowest like five lumens, each tap progressively makes it brighter till it gets all the way to turbo, then loops back around to moonlight. And then just give it a hold and it turns back off again. Now if you triple tap it, you can activate the side-facing UV reactive LED here. This LED can be used to find scorpions or charge glow-in-the-dark stuff like this, and the shell itself actually is a little bit reactive too, so this whole thing glows green or blue depending on the model that you get in the dark once you've used it. Even just regular use of it is enough to make the shell start to glow on its own. I think it's super cool. I like glow in the dark stuff. Green's my favorite color, so this flashlight's cool. It's also cheap, readily available. If you lose it, you just get another one. I got a simple little bead here on the back that just kind of enhances its ability to be pulled in and out of this pouch very simply. You can see right here my dirty ZF cup has a split divider here on two little front pockets. I almost exclusively use a flashlight in the one split pocket and then a knife in the back. You've got one big pocket on the back. I usually put cards in here and then on the front you've got a deeper half width pocket. Over here on the knife side we're going to show you what a true Sigma carries when it comes to a knife. This is my customized McNeese Knives Spyderco McB. This is the green B-Mascus anodizing with the jimping mod added here on the front. And then we've got an OD green combat beads micarta and titanium mini size concealed lanyard bead on the back. So with the bead, you get a full four finger grip. Without the bead, you're got two, maybe three, depending on your hand size. The ergonomics completely change when you put a bead on the back of a McBee. 
Now, why is this the true Giga Chair? knife in my opinion. This knife is perfectly utilitarian. If you want to do box cuts or craft cuts, you've got the perfect grip for that. If you want to get tactical and stab somebody in the face, like you can do that with this knife if you really want to. This knife was designed by Jonathan McNeese. He is a ex-military man who said to himself, what's the smallest knife that I could make that would be perfectly utilitarian for every job that I needed day to day and be small enough that I could throw it in the coin pocket of my jeans. And he invented the kill Killer B. Killer B is a sweet custom knife that he makes. Someday I'll get one. But for now, I've got the Spyderco production model of his knife, the Spyderco McB. He added this jimping mod here on the back. It's been hand anodized in his shop. I wouldn't consider this a mid-tech, but this has been a customized knife by the knife designer, so I think that's pretty sweet. One of the things that I specifically love about this knife is it is just like so beautifully crafted in the sound. The sound of titanium, just, it's so good. It's got this noise that no other material makes. I love micarta, don't get me wrong, but just a full titanium frame lock knife like this is just, it's just, the acoustics are so good, and it's hard to explain unless you're a knife nerd, but it's just so good. Now, this knife is my absolute favorite design of any knife in my entire collection. Watch my shorts if you want to see all of the knives that I have as of right now. Things I don't love about this knife, I'm not insane about the design on the pivot collar here. It's got this like bumpy texture, but the profile is still really thin. It doesn't stick out as much as it looks like it would, so that's okay. I think it also matches the little inlay that he did right here on the back. I also don't like clips on my knives, so I took the clip off of this thing. I just feel like with no clip in there and the bead on the back, it's just so much easier to use, so much easier to get the job done quick. I love the design here with this choil. So it's perfectly set up so your finger just can't go and get itself cut on the front of this knife. This is a tiny knife. You're going to want to choke up on it. So it's great that it's designed to force you not to. Spyderco McBee by Jonathan McNeese, a McNeese Knives customized knife, all-time favorite design, period. So uh, True Sigma is going to carry the best knife for them. I think that this knife is great for me. If you're a true minimalist, you'll carry the knife that's right for you. I've got that tucked right here on the back. The bead makes it super easy. Just pull it out of the ZF cup. It's easy to tell the difference between these two lanyards as well. Like I said on the back, I carry two cards, my ID and my wallet. I got two placeholders in here. This is my vintage Blockbuster card that everybody loves to make fun of me about in my videos. And then down here on the front, if you're going to be a true Sigma in the EDC world, you've got to have yourself a fidget toy. And I don't mean that because I'm addicted to fidget toys. I mean that as in you are the person who is deciding what is in your carry. You decide the tools in your arsenal that help you get the job done. For me, I have an insane amount of nervous energy, and I need to channel that to focus. I have a hard time really getting down to brass tacks and getting my mind straight without being able to like tap my foot or drum on shit, and a fidget toy is the perfect way to just take that nervous anxiety and filter it into an object, an object designed to continually do that same thing over and over and over again. Just without thought, you just leave yourself and let the fidget flow happen. This is one of my favorite fidget toys these days. This is the Lautier Mechanic. This is the stainless steel with the zirconium core edition. This is the V1 waffle pattern. I think this is mechanic style A, according to their catalog. This thing has a spot for a number of magnets on the inside. I currently have three in mine. Gives you that ability to get that tactile click every little step, and also to be able to free spin it like this. And just look how sweet this waffle pattern reflects the light. I just stare at this thing a lot when I'm playing with it. The Mechanic is a great driving fidget toy because you really don't need to hold it. It is on the edge of your finger. As long as you don't let it fall off and have your hand turn the right way, gravity is going to hold it down on your finger. It's great to have your hands on the wheel and to be able to use your fidget toy while you're driving if you're a nervous driver. If you live in a big city, 
you're probably a nervous driver. The mechanic is also absolutely ambidextrous, obviously. It is just a ring with a bunch of magnets in it, and you're able to just infinitely spin this thing on whatever finger and whatever hand that you want. This thing can go forward, it can go backward, it doesn't really stop. The mechanic, one of my all-time favorite fidget toys, period, from Lautier EDC. No, I wasn't flicking you off just right then. Come on. Like I said, this guy just sort of slips right here into the split pocket. I push it to the left like this, so when I close it, the flashlight is nice and tidy. And there you go. You've got yourself a perfect little pocket organizer. Now, if you want to go completely minimalist, take your patches off the pouch and rock it, and it's even thinner than it was before. Put these patches back on here. One more thing that I want to talk about with the ZF Cup real fast is there is an external pocket. I like to put an RFID badge on the outside and be able to just beep, buzz right in with my wallet, throw it back into my pocket and be done with it. You also can easily carry your cards on the inside here if you're paranoid or you can put them on the outside like this. They work great in either way. It's really quick access. I think it's important to live with purpose and to be an everyday minimalist. Yeah, these are two of my other favorite YouTube channels here. Check them out, link in the description below. Shout out to you guys. But yeah, I think that's true, that it's important to not carry tons of junk that you don't need and weigh yourself down. I show off a lot of gear on this channel. I carry a lot of gear. I am a hoarder. You do not need to be like me. I think a minimalist style EDC pouch like this is the perfect way to just throw it right into your cargo pocket or your front pocket and be done with it. The other absolutely imperative item that you carry with you as a Sigma EDC enthusiast is a hank. This guy is by Ace of Hanks. This is a nice cotton hank. It has microfiber here on the back. Very nice embroidery all the way around the outside. And then just a very cool casino night print. What is a hank good for? It's good for cleaning stuff. That is exactly the purpose of a hank. You can use it to clean lenses, you can use it to clean your phone, you can use it to clean your laptop or your tablet with the microfiber side. You can flip it over to the other side and use the cotton side to clean your face. I wipe sweat off constantly with a hank. I wipe junk off my children with a hank. I blow my snot into a hank. I often actually carry two hanks just to be sure. I carry like a snot hank and then a nice microfiber back hank. But that's just me. If you want to be a true minimalist, all you need is a hank, your pouch, and the gear inside. Now, this was a short video. I didn't feature a lot of stuff, so I'm going to give you two more quick little setups. Not whole gear setups, but two little pouch setups, just as a bonus. Here we go. I've been carrying this one a lot recently. This is a original Zero Feud soft wallet mini pouch. Once again in that toxic shark chartreuse electric mucus green nylon. Very nice. I love the ripstop versions more than any of the other ones. I've customized it here with a glow in the dark plague bead. This is a hard bead, not a squishy PVC one. And the zipper pull just works very nicely. You're able to get whatever you want in and out of it. On the patch game, we've got a little bit of Joker theme here from Castle Grayscale, the No Luck Purple Game Boy Advance from Kokui Creation and Pop EDC, the Gundam Can, Hiru Mitsu Collective, Stars in Their Eyes, Mega Man, EDC Booze, Green Little Hate Ghost, and the Eggplant Accidental Variant Purple Pouch Bomb Vandal Eye. But if you're not a wild color guy, might I suggest more of a black and white setup? I've got a gray Zero Feud cup here with a little Workerman Fantastic Phantom bead that's PVC. Also a little squishy but still hard. Works great as a zipper pull. And then just a lovely black and white assortment here. From Data Crew, the Sad Boys PBS spoof, the white pre-order EDC Booze Ghost, the Heavy Metal JRW Gear logo, the Troll Face from Zero Feud, Grayed Out Toxic Toad from Smash Brothers Gear, the Horror Patches, Stompin' Ghost, Betty Boop, Coco the Clown, and the new Twilight Zone from Twilight Patch Co. It's hard to tell, but the door is actually slightly lavish. I really dig this design. Yeah, just a little black and white setup for all those dudes that love a good blackout gray monochrome setup. Well, 
that is the Pouched Up episode for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, if you're going to order from datacrewla.com, use my discount code XERO15. Get you 15% off your entire order. Just a little thanks for you being here on my channel. And if no one has told you today, you are a rad person who deserves love and praise just like everybody else in this world. Get out there today, have some fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Later on, Sigmas. Thank you.